Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to show you a new functionality of Google Sheets. Well, relatively new. They have been working with this since two years ago and it's called the Smart Sheets. The Smart Sheets is a way to easily have more information for, from a contact, from an event, from a file, and then you can extract data from it. You can convert it to Smart Sheet. Uh, so it's a way like of encapsulating of having like mini objects inside your Google Sheets. I think this will have some future and potential and I'm going to show you why in this video. But before we start, con please consider subscribing to my channel or going to the Patreon page where we can talk more and uh, have access to the templates and much, much more. Thank you so much. So let's begin. First, I'm going to show you the smart ships that are not so smart. So I think we can divide these new functionality of sheets in smart and uh, shortcut like ships because I think these shortcut like ships will be keep coming and coming in different forms but the smart ships I think they're more limited and right now there are five and I think in the future there will be more but let's begin with the easier ones so I'm going just to to extend this this thing a bit so you can see much much better so the first one maybe you've already experienced it is when you one of the ways in which you can call the smart ships or the ships is with the add key. When you put the add key, then you see this weird menu with a lot of things. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you is that you can call some kind of shortcuts. Right now we only have two. The first one is a drop down. So you start writing drop down. Again, I'm going to do it again because I already started. I think it, it lost its power. So I start to write drop down and then I have these suggestion. I will hit enter and then immediately I have a drop down. I've, I've discussed this in tens of other videos. So then you could do the data validation and you could adjust and customize your drop down. But the nice thing is that you very easily with just writing at and then drop down, you can do it. So this is the future of this kind of very, very quick shortcut. And the other shortcuts are with the dates. So again, I'm going to write at and start writing today. And again, you can see one, once I write TOD, I have the suggestion of today's date. Then I'm going to hit end. Well, I, I messed it, but again, we're going to do it again at today. And I have the first one I hit enter and I have today. You would say, okay, but what is this different from doing control apostrophe? The same. Yeah, but for example, you could do tomorrow at tomorrow and you could do yesterday at yesterday and you could do date. You could do date and you hit enter and you have this smart calendar, this mini calendar you normally would call with when you already had a date or with the data validation for date. So I think this is a pretty, pretty nice shortcut that again, I, I think we're just seeing the the start of it, maybe in a year. So we're going to have much, much more. If if this starts to catch to catch on, then I think we're going to have a lot of more shortcuts. Okay, so this is the first kind of ships that are not really smart, but are really productive, I think so. Okay, so we've seen the drop down, we've seen the date, and maybe in three, five, six, 12 months, we're going to see much, much more of these kind of shortcuts. We are standing today at June 2023, and this is the, these are the two we have. Okay, so I'm going to to just drop a line so so I can leave it for the Patreons. I'm going to remove this validation. So here I'm going to write drop down. And then here I'm going to write dates. And now it comes the fun part. The fun part are the smart ships. So the smart ships are five different kinds of ships that are not a, it's a mix between a shortcut and much, much more. A kind of object carries with it a lot of information. And there, there are five right now, but in the past days, Google announced that there are, that people and even the developers are going to be able to create new smart ships. So imagine you could do one for your company or you could do one for a specific app you use. I think Asana has it right now and other, I'm, I'm sure Coda, Notion, some of that will have, so you can start integrating such like a, like a peel 
like an API, but that you can insert directly in your sheet. You don't have to program it, okay? Something like that. So let's begin with the easiest one, the one we may be using the most, that is the content. So if I start writing an email, let's write an email. There are two ways. You could write at, and here you have some people you normally use. If you go to this arrow, you'll see one of the emails. Another way is just to start writing an email. So you're, I'm going to write my email. It's this one, one of my email, emails. Hit enter. And once I draw over it, then you can see that it has a lot of information. If I go to open detail view, then I'm going to the contact. And if we do again at, and let's start writing our email, JS Guzman. And these and these are the same. The difference is that here is a bit more explicit that this is a, a, a ship, but you can see that it's exactly the same things. So this is the first one, the contact. The nice thing is, again, it's like a mini application. Here you have, just by hovering over the email, you can see the name, the email, you can add it to your contacts, you can do a video chat, you can do create an event, you can send an email, you can go to the panel where you can see more about this contact. So this is the idea that you can have little objects inside your sheet. So let's write this as contact. The next one that may, you may use a lot is files. So again, I'm going to write at and you can start writing the name of a recent file. For example, this one. Hit enter. And when you hover over it, then you can see this doesn't have a lot of things, but normally in the more things the file has, the more things it's going to show you. So it doesn't have to be a sheet. It could be a Google Doc. It could be a PDF. It could be any other things. And when you hover it, you're going to have the name. You can go to the file if you want or copy the link, or you can just see a screenshot of it. Then you can see who is the owner, the last changes, and we'll come back to this data extraction soon. Okay, then we have the events. Again, I'm going to do at, and you can see down here that you have some events. These events don't have a lot of things, but the more things you have, the more it will show. If you have an attachment, if uh, the hour uh, that you can copy it, if you have the description and all that, and people invited, you can see all of these in just one mini screen. The fourth one is location. We're going to do at, and let's write, uh, I don't know, a magic kingdom. Here, magic kingdom. Click, and then you can have a mini Google map. You have the map, you can open the preview, you can go to Google Maps, you can see the address, you can see the direction. So it's a very easy way to connect very, very quickly for a specific instance, because before you had a, a here, this bar where you can go to contacts, where you can go to maps, where you can go to uh, events, etc. Okay, but with this you can go very specifically to a specific contact, to a, to a certain file, to certain event, to certain location. This brings me to the last one that is finance. That is very specific, but it's good to know that it is there and is for stocks. For example, you do what is the stock for Google? I think it's Let's go at and start right. Let's go at and write G O G L. I think it is here. Finance. And you have that is alphabet G O O G L. You can have it. Hit enter. And then the disadvantages of being in Zoom. I don't know why I'm going to, to put this up here. So you can see quickly the value, the variation with the last day. You can go to details. You can see a lot of things. Okay. So this is the magic of smart ships. Today we have five in the near future. We're going to have, five. so this is just a summary to see what it can do, but this doesn't end here because this has certain information. This is nice. So may, many times you have an email and you are going to, you're going to have now a, a right click menu where you can convert an email to a people chip or you have maybe the address of a file and you can convert it to a ship again with all of this and you can go back again for example we can click 
right click it's important this message that it says that mentioned people are not notified but you could give access it gives you a shortcut to give access to the to that people if you want maybe you want to share it with them but maybe not okay i can right click again let's go to the smart ships and i could remove the smart ship again there is one min minor caveat that maybe in the future they will fix and this is that you have to refresh it if for example i change something in my contact the phone while i'm opening the the file and i change the phone then i need to refresh the data it doesn't refresh automatically so i could show the details or i could remove the smart chip that's it i could try to force it also to another kind of smart chip i could try to force this to a file and it will say okay this is not a file okay but you can you can try and you can go backwards not with this contact Okay, now you know, but there is a really nice uh, functionality is this data, data extraction. If I click data extraction, I know I'm packing a lot of things in 20 minutes, but maybe we'll have some more videos in the future where we're going to, to go to a specific detail of this new functionality. So I can, depending on the data and how much data it has, for example, this email doesn't have a lot of things, has the email and the name, that's it. But some of your contacts may be very complete and may have the phone and a lot of things. For now, this is just the email and the name. But the nice thing is that you could extract this, tell it where to extract. Let's hit extract. And you have, in this case, the email and the name is exactly the same. So right now, when you do extract, you're only going to be shown the name and the email. But I've seen some demos when they have a lot of other things. So I think this will be begin updating uh, with, another, with other things, phone and, and much more. The same you can do for the file. You could do right click, data extraction, and here you can, depending on the on the type of ship, you can do other things. Here it's the name, the kind of file, and the, the URL. The same for events, extraction. Here you can, in the event, this summary and URL. For location, I think location doesn't work, the data extraction. Yeah, here it, it doesn't work. There's nothing to extract. I'm from finance. Let's see. There is no data extraction also. Okay. So this is a work in progress. Maybe when I do a refresher video in six months or nine months, a lot of new things are here. And I've already, as, as I told you, I've already read that there are new, it's, I think that it's like this add-ons, but for smart ships. So hopefully in the future, I can show you some of this. I'm not sure yet if you have to install it as an add-on or how do you install the new, but I, th I think we're going to see more and more of that in the future, if this is something that catches on. I think it will, I think it has some nice, nice potential. And Google has been working with this since two years ago. So let's see, let's see, I like it. I think it has potential. Just tell me what do you think, if you see the utility of this. As always, you can support me by going to the Patreon page or just subscribing to the channel and for subscribing to the Patreon page, you not only get the templates of my videos, the videos one week early, you can ask me things and I'll answer quickly, quickly enough. For me, more than that, it's my appreciation and my thank you that I show the, the list of Patreons every video, but this doesn't begin to show how much I care for the help you're giving me. Thank you so much. See you next time.